three, two. Here we go, action. Okay, we are back for another live unboxing. Three idiots talking about guitars that we haven't seen yet. We've got a box over there, we've got a fresh one. Andy, go and get it. I've got the tools here ready for you. Thanks. So I will say, I know what's... <laughs> I know, what, I know what I know what's in this that? box. Which one um, was it? Um, yeah, not me. You know what's in it? I know what's in this one because I took the delivery sure in this morning. It's not been opened. This is a very cool one. Um, Hang on, let me see if I can hear what it is. Whilst you get it out of the box, well. I'm, I'm going to need to look this up on my phone even though I know what it is. All right, you got um, it. So I will get specs up on my Where's phone. Where's my safety tools? I'll tell you what. Well, it went that way. I'll tell you what, guys. I don't think I've ever seen a sit down unpack before. What if I stand up? Look at this. <laughs> it's like, I've never seen someone unbox a, a guitar so lazy. I've got, so a, I've got a sore knee. Have you? Yep. You want to my, right, my right knee. Um, so, how are we all doing? I hope you guys are all well. Thanks for tuning into the video. We're blasting through a load of these at the moment. There's some great, some great guitars coming in. Um, let's find out what this one is. <sighs> <laughs> oh, you, can, you can tell who normally does the unboxing in like this office. We burst her. I think I might have just qualified as a midwife. I'm just going to open this up. I like the little knot in here. It's quite nice, isn't it? The case is great. Ooh, it's like a it's like a plasticky ABS Ooh. material. Ooh. Chainsaw oh, case. Chainsaw type case. case. Okay. That's cool. It's like your deluxe. Right. Take fender the uh, latches. Take What's the going on here? Yeah. Take the protection off. Hang on a minute. It's got fender latches on, and a chainsaw up. case. Well, it's an Epiphone, obviously. Plastic case, which I like. Very good case. Suitable amount of packaging in the box, as usual, for yeah, Epiphone. Yeah, that's nice, like actually. Yeah, quite a really good case, this. Um, so, so, it's an Epiphone. Oh. Oh. So, this is... I've, I'm never going to remember this without cheating and looking at my phone. <laughs> it's the Epiphone... <laughs> Adam Jones Les Paul Custom... Study for a self-portrait with rose, skirt and mouse, electric guitar in violin, silver burst, part of the custom art collection. That basically sounds like a worded version of an Ibanez serial number. I, I'm honestly not sure what's going on. Is that on. a breast? I don't know is that a breast? <laughs> yeah, it's just a pair of breasts, a, a mouth, <coughs> and a chaff inch. Um, <coughs> that, looks, that looks a bit like Kelly, Dan. Don't, don't make me laugh. I'm, I'm still suffering from lung parasite. That is... Um, look at the girl, it looks like Kelly. <laughs> That's actually a little bit like Kelly, to be fair. But, I mean, back to actually reviewing this thing. Um, Not the breasts. Oh, again, they keep forgetting to put that pickup cover on. This is... <coughs> oh, yeah. Every <coughs> time, the last time we looked at it had a pickup cover missing. Is it, like, fashionable at the moment or something? Well, yeah. I've just realised that, like, I didn't know this was such a thing. Like, the Tremontes... This Adam Jones, the Jerry Cantrell, none of them have bridge pickup covers. There's obviously so you some, are there's obviously a reason for this. Tremonti, known for like he, he's got some spectacular clean tones, but known for his big distorted tones. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jerry Cantrell, Alison Chains, seminal grunge band, big distorted tones. Adam Jones, like tall, massive, massive fuzzy distorted tones. Yeah. So you know they just want as much. This is a Seymour Duncan. Distortion pickup as well. Okay. So don't expect that to clean up. Where's well, still mic down? It's uh, still mic out the way. So it's out of tune, but. Oh, hang on. To it. Pa pass it over. It's an Epiphone. It needs. Right. I, I, it's a bit I've with these. Right. I've, I've That's learned. A bit sharp. That's a bit sharp. That doesn't pass the fittest fingers test. Right. Let's give the strings a stretch. Epiphones are always <laughs> let down. That's got a late box. night show, Dan. Let me get ready to tune her up. They're, they're always let point. down with like rubbish Epiphone, whatever strings they use are terrible and they always go really out of tune. You guys, when you watch the review videos I do, always give me a load of hassle about like, oh, you should have tuned the guitar. I tune these guitars about 20 times when I'm reviewing them. And if the strings are rubbish, I can't help it if they go out of tune. But let's give them a good old stretch in <laughs> and just uh, at least give us a little bit of a head start on um, it staying in tune. So this this pattern on the back i've never seen this before what's this all about it's a part of the art collection we've had all the other ones in yeah, I know, but and what's it all about though? well it's because like you know like tool is is more than just a band they're very theatrical very artistic it's, it's a sh it's a show it's like is it? it's not just a band going out and gigging big it's like, video it's screens a show. in the background yeah. so one like, of their the art albums had like these um 
lenses that you look through and the album cover was all like 3D oh, yes. and everything. So it's not just it's not just music. You know? right. It's all and about Alice in these, Wonderland. These, it? Um, these portraits are ones that he selected to go on the back of this Epiphone art collection. I think there, there's only a few hundred of each. Right, yeah. okay. Uh, they, they are literally like selling out immediately when they come out and then going up on eBay for like twice the price. Um, well, there we go. I mean, I've never, it's, it's cool because I've never seen it before, which is always interesting. It's very things. individual. I, I personally, I love Silverburst Les Pauls. I had a Gibson, uh, a lesser known, awesome guitar if you can get it. It was a precursor to the studio an Epiphone Les Paul XR1 oh. in Silver Burst. Nice. And uh, it was like early 80s, really, really cool guitar in Silver Burst. And I regret getting rid of that thing. So it's lovely to see this finish that you don't get very often on Les Pauls these days. Let's see if it works. Yeah, go on and see if it works. Definitely works. That's a nice I can tell already, like you just know. We've, we've done a few of these videos today, and you can just tell when it's not like an Epiphone pickup. That is like, no offense, Epiphone, but that's a good quality pickup. It's squashy. It'll be interesting to put that to the test because the neck pickup is an Epiphone pickup. Round the wall for a long way. Well, hang on a minute. Top end. All right, it's got a little bit of attitude already, but for, it's a, for a Seymour Duncan super distortion, that's cleaned up wonderfully. That's a lot better than the other ones we've tried. So the neck is an Epiphone Pro Bucker Custom reverse mounted, so you've got that out yeah. of face thing in the middle. Oh yeah, I thought it was first. Right. Let me reach in and see if I have a noodle. It's just gone a little bit out. She's out of tune. So, uh, what do you think of the neck profile sound while you're playing it there? Um, I'll tell you what. It's the same as every other episode. I'll tell you what, it. right? The way I, I decide whether I like a neck profile or not yeah. is whether I think about the neck profile or not. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about it when I was no. playing for it, so it's comfortable. So, so the it, Adam Jones uh, custom it's a bit neck wide. profile is. It's based on like a 70s neck profile. It's a bit wide, right? It's a it's wide and, and flat, but it is thin, so it's not it's not uncomfortable because of that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, have a noodle, see what you think. Can you lube me up, please, Dan? Yeah, there's a bit of anything, okay. There you go. It's, do you know what I mean? It's yeah, a bit yeah. wide and, and flat radius and kind of vibe. In case you're wondering what that lube like is, that. that's the uh, Planet Waves to Dario Accelerate. It's because I've got a lot of squirt oil everywhere anymore because it keeps, it keeps the, slipping up the... the where bowl. you used to sit here on a stool and you were using your little squirty stuff, there was a shiny patch I on know. the floor. I know. All right, fire it up. Let's have a listen. Up. Not that pickup, not as well, but super distortion. That is a damn sight better than the other iPhone. So I'm afraid, Dan, saying it's high up, but it doesn't make any difference if the pickup's better, it's more transparent. That is, that is a good one, but it's got the sparkle. But yeah, this that's it. does also, um, I mean, obviously, it doesn't account for neck pickup. CTS pots, orange drop capacitors. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I, I, I'm quite impressed with that, actually. Um, yeah, I like that. I'm going to controversially say, though, with the whole orange drop capacitor thing and CTS pots, I don't get the hype behind them. I know they're good, but... There isn't what, any real hype, if you know what you're everyone, talking about. When they sort of, like, tout, oh, it's got orange drop capacitors in it, they're, like, three quid. I know. Um, but saying that, it's like... It, that's still a point, though, isn't it? Why haven't you all put them in, then? Yeah, it's so cheap, yeah. <laughs> I prefer paper and oil. Sounds good. I like it. Definitely very rich in harmonics. Yeah. 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 
Effortless to like do pinch harmonics on. I I like that. It's great. I'll tell you what, it's all about, right? The the other guitars we've played in a similar price range. However, this is expensive, but I'm assuming, right, if this wasn't a limited one with the artwork on the back, it, it's an eight, nine hundred pound Epiphone, right? Yeah. And, and you got you're paying four hundred quid extra because you're getting a limited run and it's got the artwork. It plays just as well as stuff like the Wino. Plays just as well as like other Epiphones that I've played, certainly like the Lazarus and stuff like that. But there is definitely, and I didn't even realise this until now, that there is a, it's a cavernous difference between a cheap Alnico pickup and a Seymour yeah, Duncan. I and go, I just yeah. didn't, I just didn't realise there was that much of a difference, a difference to be honest. But that is the harmonic richness of that pickup is massive. Yeah, yeah, it's squealy, it's squashy, it's like it's it's it so much up. nicer to play. Yeah, it opens up. The, um, I have a little point of this. You've got the little volute on the back of the headstock. Yep. I like those. I like those too. Like a nice little thumb resting point. Um, gives a bit of strength there. The um, the binding and stuff on this is a little bit sloppy. Um, the actual... Being on it, yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, you look down there and you can see like it's a bit sloppy. It's a bit sloppy up around here as well. Yeah, there's like um, a little bit of a ridge there. Yeah, it almost but... looks like there's like shrinkage. Like sometimes you get shrinkage and people are like, oh, has that got a crack in the neck? It's not. It's just where there's like a bit of shrinkage around the binding. Yeah. And obviously this is brand new and it's already got a little bit of shrinkage there. Um, but obviously it is a very highly collectible um, limited cool. edition guitar. I think, I think obviously you've got to be a fan of the band. Oh, totally. Jones. I mean, for me, I don't get it. I don't, it's not for me at all. But what do I know? It's like, I just don't like stuff on guitars. But I can imagine if you're a massive fan, guitarist or not, that is cool. Yeah, yeah, the, the artwork and cool. stuff looks, you know, it's a thing. It is its own thing, and I get that. It's, someone who's a fan, that is a wicked thing to it, and it sounds great. It would be great. I don't know if they're... <coughs> oh. I don't know if they're... Um... <laughs> right? Sorry, so, sorry. So, so, what, someone what. get this man a doctor. Oh. Whoever's original. Uh, thank oh. you. That one. Yeah, whoever's original. Um, oh, thank yeah. you. Um, so, um, I don't know if they're coming after this, because I think there's a few more of these limited edition ones coming first. Oh, that limited, I think they're doing but, 12, aren't they? They're only doing one a month or something, or... I don't know. I don't know if there's six, oh, twelve, but I, if I was like, if I wanted an Epiphone Les Paul, especially Silver Burst, if they did it without the stuff on the back, the um, I'll bring this closer to the camera so you guys can Pulling see how it's um, <laughs> There's like all this glittery stuff all over the back of the headstock. If they did it, it's just a straight Adam Jones signature <clears throat> Les Paul. Epiphone custom without all the like glitteriness on it, just silver burst with the pickup configuration, 70 star neck. I would love it, but obviously, belt buckle rash, all that stuff. When you've got the custom artwork on the back, it just kind of makes it you a little bit more like an art piece. No, yeah, it not. is an art piece, it I is. do agree. That is what it is, yeah. I, I you get, um, you get people yeah, will, like, cool. yeah, Pe cool. people will play these. So, you know, obviously, there are going to be tool fans out there who are just like, I want to play this on stage, yeah. But it'd be interesting to see yeah, how weird. hard wearing her face is. Yeah, I don't reckon it's H how hard wearing her teeth is. Well, in all fairness, it's, it's going to be poly, isn't it? So it probably it is. is going to be pretty hard wearing. To be honest, yeah. definitely. Yeah, the big thick layer of poly over all that lot. But well, yeah. I know where I'm at. Go on. Then. I know where I'm at. I think it's it's very cool. Um, it's definitely unique, which I like. Yep. The pickups sound great. Um, I'm going in six four, cool six point four. I think cool. six point four. It's just a. The Wino, I think I did six one, and it is just that bit better. The actual guitar itself, no, di no different in my opinion, um, no. in terms of quality and what what it delivers, but just having that Seymour Duncan. Now, is it worth um, five hundred and fifty quid? Nah, probably might get the Wino and put the Seymour Duncan in it if yeah. I'm honest. But um, you know, it's a great guitar and it's a collector's piece. Six four for me. Cool. So for me, I because of the Seymour Duncan and the fact that it cleans up better. I'm already better than the four I gave the wino, um, but I, it, it's moving itself up to four and a half. You gave the wino four and a half, I, five. And five. that's compared to everyone. Oh, that's, nice. that's not the fact. That's just that's just my opinion compared to the finest guitars in the world. I give it five. I'm going less than I gave the wino, uh, just purely because sloppy binding. Um, I, as I said, I base things on if I want to. Can I tour it for a year and have no problems? I don't want to tour that for a year. It's it's a collector's piece for me. Um, so as a functional guitar that I want to take out and gig and all that kind of stuff, I'm going 5.5. 5. 
Nice one. Fair enough, Dan. Andy, give it another razz. Let's have one more listen for the people Let's out there watching. Go. I knew you were wrong about the pickup, Dan, which makes my day. What? <laughs> oh, it's high output, so it won't clean up. Nice. Where's well, a high output pickup? Nice. And it's... Let's go. Right. Right. Sustains as well. It is, it's cool. That's a great guitar. I should have given it a high mark. <laughs> Listen, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in again for another video. We really appreciate it. We're having a lot of fun making these and getting to look at these guitars. And actually, we get through so many guitars here at Guitar Geek Giveaway. This is just the kind of stuff that we wouldn't even usually get a chance to look at because it'd be unboxed, photographed on the website. So it's great to see this stuff. We really hope this is helpful for you. And if so, we'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. And we'll catch you legends soon. Goodbye from us.